So I hear you close the deal. What's that in commission, about 80K? 84. 84,000, that should just about cover your debt. No, no, don't do that to me. Jim, that's my year, that's my nut, man. It is not yours. Jim, I need this money. My son blew up a pool at school today. Sam, I'd like to talk to you about your father's estate. He left you this. Your shaving kit. $150,000. I'm supposed to give to some woman and kid I've never even met. So I think one of the, the beautiful messages about this movie is that if you're lucky, your family will love you despite your flaws. And, you know, obviously none of us are perfect. We all have flaws. Which flaw do you guys feel that you have that you're grateful that your family can overlook and, and still love you in spite of? Such a good question. I think uh, probably allowing me the, give, giving me their patience while I work probably. Mm -hmm. And it, it's probably more so for director. They spend, I mean, on, in Alex's case, it's seven years, eight years. What is it, nine years at this point? Nine years. Yeah. So when you go down that, that road to kind of create something, it, it can be uh, all-encompassing and, and all-enveloping. And uh, to be patient uh, in that process is a great thing. The need to tell my story in, on film. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. A lot of, I, I know my family maybe wouldn't be the biggest fan of that. Yeah. No, my family's been so, I mean, you know, unbelievably supportive and, and uh, you know, um, they've been amazing. I mean, they're, they're the greatest people. And, you know, certainly bringing a, a story to, to film is, uh, is challenging in a lot of ways. And um, they've been amazing. Record producer Jerry Harper is survived by his wife and son. It's official. I don't exist. Hi, I'm Sam. Frankie. She has my father's eyes and his nose. Uh, I don't understand. You don't have any sisters. <laughs> I do now. The only thing that we know about Jerry is through the stories that yeah. people tell after he's passed yeah. away. And, and at the end of the day, when we're long gone, we're only the, the stories that people tell. Sure. So at the end of the day, many, many years from now, when you guys are gone, if, if someone could say one thing about you, what, what would you want them to say? Okay, these are such penetrating questions. I'm trying to ask, because you guys are doing the <laughs> no, tours, they're so I'm trying to ask they're them. They're really great. No, no one's asking. They're, I've been so uh, You know, my our, our DP, our cinematographer, Sal Tatino, um, has always said something that stuck with me, you know, because he's very selective about what he shoots and what he doesn't shoot, and he's offered things all the time, and he says no all the time. And whenever I've asked him why, he's always said, um, you know, I, I, my kids are growing up now, and at my funeral, I'd rather have people say he was a great father and not a great cinematographer. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I agree, totally. I mean, I think if there's one thing, it would be he was a great father. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, good, uh, it's a good point. I think that's a really good point. Because I think ambition, we all suffer from ambition, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that... Yeah, I mean, ambition can kind of get the better of you sometimes. You think mm -hmm. about more about the, f you know, your collective filmography sure. or what awards you've won or, you know, if people respect you or not. Really, at the end of the day, it's, you know, uh, yeah, at your funeral, it's the friends that are there. Yeah. I mean, that's when, that's, right. that's when it really, uh, so hopefully that, you know, you're a good person. Hey, Frankie. Can I get you something that they sell here? I swear to you on my life, I will never hit on you, ever. Wow, thank you. I'm sure that was meant to reassure me. Now, I think my, my favorite scene, and actually it's one of my favorite scenes so far this year, is when you give the six life lessons that you've learned. And I'm not gonna ask you guys to come up with six, because that's, that's a lot, that's putting you on the oh spot. My but God. like, it, I know, but if, <laughs> it, well, if, if you could say like just that, that one lesson that you've been taught throughout your career, throughout life, that it's kind of had the biggest impact that's you know, kind of led how you go about things, what, what would be that one thing? Mm -hmm. So pretty good questions. I'm I trying think, to get the wheels think, turning, uh, man. I think maybe just to be grateful, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think anything... Yeah. I think the moment that you feel like you deserve something, yep. you become righteous about it, I think you're going down a bad, uh, a wrong, you know, a mm -hmm. dangerous path. Mm -hmm. I mean, I certainly... No, I don't think there's any deserve. I think it's, you know, you should be grateful for what whatever, whomever, or what, you know, whatever we're involved in here on this planet, to be able to, uh, you know, eat, live, work, sleep, be healthy, have good family, just be happy and grateful that you're, yeah. The first thing that leaps to mind for me is treat others the way you want to be treated. Because when you're not, 
and we've all been in the position of not being treated well or being, you know, just it, it really it reminds you um, what it means to talk to people. So I think um, to me the biggest thing is just be really a good person to the people around you. Mm -hmm. You seem like a really great person. The kid's really lucky to have you. My last image of my dad are taillights while he drove away to his other family. Mom, you know. You grew up without a father. It was his choice. I can't tell her who I am. I am buried in debt. Buried. Why don't I know anything about you? One of the things that, that I love that this movie shows is that you can learn a lot about someone by learning about their family, by mm -hmm. learning where they came from. Mm -hmm. And you've played so many great characters, and you've, you've written so many great characters. Which character have you played, and which one have you written that you would like to get to know their family a little bit better, and thereby actually getting to know the character a little bit more? You mean in a different movie? In, any, in any anything movie. you've ever done. Well, I have to say that I really enjoyed writing, I think probably the most I really enjoyed writing Sam in this movie mm -hmm. because he's a guy who, um, he, he's trying so hard to understand how to do the right thing in a world where he was sort of growing up in a house of lies, you know, a house where people didn't always tell the truth and he didn't even know that to some degree. And um, the idea of getting to explore his family and figure out, you know, um, what made him tick and, and watching him struggle through trying to make the right choices and ultimately coming to the revelation that no matter how far you run away from family, um, it, you always come back to it and, it, and, and it, it makes you who you are. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I, mean, I think I'd probably like to know, uh, I mean, in the film and what we did, people like us, there's a character, Jerry Harper, who's my father, who you never get to meet, who passed away and is pretty much the ghost that haunts all of these characters. Yeah. I'd love to, you know, if I had a chance to figure out and figure out this character of Jerry Harper and see what he was like. Awesome. Well, thank you. They're giving me the wrap, guys. It's always an honor. Thanks sure. for Sorry the questions were a little bit... No, they were uh, great, man. No, no, they were really, really good. Thank you. My father, you always said lean into it. What does that mean? It means that the outcome doesn't matter. What matters is that you were there for it. Whatever it is. Good or bad.